Good morning, it's Kyle Coberline with Bluegrass International. I'm part of the sales staff with Bluegrass and I do handle all of our Renegade RV sales. I'll, I'm specifying that just because we are at an RV park today. Uh, this is part of our Bluegrass Adventure Series. Um, you know, adventure for, you know, for what we do in our industry, whether it be RV or your commercial truck drivers, like everywhere is accessible because we all travel and we get around. So the Gulf Shores is definitely one of my family's favorite places to take our small motor home. There's just a lot to do, especially if you got kids, there's just a lot to do here with the kids. Um, I mean, the pools, the, the state, you got the state, the, the it's in the early in the morning. I try to do these to be polite to people so I'm not filming people at the pool and stuff, but um, I don't want to get run over by a car either. The, uh, so the, you got the bike trails in the state park, which has like 26 to, or 28 miles of like awesome paved bike trails and boardwalk. Um, you know, we're here at the, uh, forgot where I was at, um, Sun Outdoors RV Resort here in Gulf Shores. And uh, this place is cool. I mean, this, you know, everybody's got their personal preferences. You know, I, we kind of lean more towards the state park vibe just because we're national park lovers and love the kind of more scenic, feel a little more like we're roughing it uh, than luxury RV. But we also enjoy our luxury RV from time to time. Um, so I'm gonna do a real quick tour of this RV park. I, you know, there's plenty of videos out there where people do these long wide ride arounds. Uh, I just kind of want to point out all the highlights and show you a few things and uh, we'll get to it. So behind me as we come, we're coming in, um, that was the entrance coming in off the main highway. Uh, this is the first left. I'm not gonna, normally in my videos, I show a bunch of different site numbers. You can kind of pick out what site you'd like the best. There is not a bad site in this entire campground. You just gotta pick whether you wanna pull through a back end and what you wanna be close to. So if you wanna be close to the adult only pool, you know, obviously look at their map and pick sites that are around the adult only pool. Uh, I thought, I think I filmed some other segments of this video for later, and I think I mentioned that there was a hot tub at the adult only pool. That is not true. Uh, the hot tub is at the pool uh, that's right behind the, uh, it's really check in, the check in house. <laughs> so everybody, all the employees have been super nice since we've been here. But here's just an idea of this area. I mean, this gives you a great overall picture that's site 52 just for reference so you can look when you look at a map you know what you're looking at and uh, I'll we'll cut out here and I'll go up here and show you where you check in so as you come down to the main drive RV check in to the right they've got these lanes over here where you can pull in that's the main building there um, over here to the left there's a large lake well small lake I guess in theory uh, but a larger lake for an RV park. Uh, you can fish in that lake. There are signs posted for alligators. Um, you don't have to have a license to fish here. It's private property. So if you and the kids or whoever want to get a pole out and try to catch some fish, you can do that. That's not a problem. When you check in, um, you know, they'll, they'll take care of you. Uh, you just drive yourself to your site. I think they'll escort you if you want them to. Uh, I had no problem navigating the campground. They do have golf carts that you can rent. They also have e-bikes inside you can rent as well. Uh, do not come to Gulf Shores without your e-bike if you own one or a bicycle if you own one because this is one of the by far the best places we've come to vacationing all over the country for biking. I mean plus easy biking like the 26 to 28 miles of trails and don't quote me on that I might be wrong but you get the idea right. I mean it's awesome. It's easy biking. We tow our kids bike trailers. They've uh, they got a propane fill over here as well. So I mean, do not come here if you own a nice bicycle. Don't don't leave your nice bicycle at home. This is the one place you pack your bicycle. Uh, I'll, we'll go up here and I'll show you real quick. This is the pool. It's right behind the. Uh, I don't know what the. Heck, I guess they call it a clubhouse. Duh. But they got a pool right up here. Um, this is definitely a calmer pool than the pool that's in the back. That's a little more kid friendly as far as like activities. Uh, it does have zero entry, which is really nice. Uh, so if you've got kids and you want a little bit more quieter environment uh, for them, I mean, this is kind of the pool to come to up here at the clubhouse uh, because the other pool is definitely a little bit more crazy just because of what it is. It, of course, they got a hot tub back there to the left as well. The gate was unlocked, so I figured I'd just come up here and give you a little bit closer view. But you can see that zero entry pool. Pools looks like it's from three to four feet deep. And then of course you got that hot tub that's over there. 
up here in the front of the RV resort as well, they've got more pickleball courts and uh, beach volleyball. Oh, and I see some horseshoes too. A little dog park. They got dog parks throughout where you can you know, let your dogs run around. Would not let your dogs loose here. I, I, you know, we point out an alligator at some point. But this is coming past the clubhouse where you check in. I mean, you can see, I'm filming a little bit because I'm going to show you something here real quick. But uh, you can see not a bad campsite. You know, just look at your map, pick something. Shout out to the Renegaders. Woo -woo. That's the one Renegade I've seen in the park on this trip. That guy was super nice. I talked to him. He's out of Mississippi. Got his Renegade Verona. So this is coming around the lake. So you can definitely get uh, some RV sites uh, that back up right to the lake. If, you know, you want to be able to fish off the back of your uh, campsite if that's what you really want to do. I I did not try to fish, so I have no idea if you actually catch fish, you know, or how nice the fishing is. I see a big fat uh, alligator warning sign. This is Memorial Day weekend, by the way. Well, this is the Tuesday of Memorial Day weekend, so I think 100, I was talking to the manager yesterday, I think 140 something people checked out. So this is, this is a very large RV park. Speed limit's five miles an hour. This guy, clearly doesn't care. I like the fact that they really, they do enforce the five miles an hour. Um, I have children, they ride their bikes to the campground. I saw the manager telling people to slow down. He got onto several people. If you're doing the golf cart thing, uh, you have to be a licensed driver, I think. I mean, I know it's fun for a teenager to drive a golf cart, but at the end of the day, it's all about being safe. I mean, my five-year-old is really good about riding his bicycle. He doesn't use training wheels. He zooms around pretty good. You know, I, I like the fact that they're trying to make it a safe environment so everybody can enjoy their time. You probably won't be able to see it because he's kind of small, but if you look over there at that concrete, oh, there he went. There was an alligator sticking out of that little concrete pipe. We think he's about a three-footer. He ducked back when he heard me talking. They got a little sign. Warning, alligator. So if you look at uh, the campground map, this is like the in-between area between like the front section and the rear section of the RV park. Uh, so for example, these sites that kind of book, uh, back, up, book up, back up to this kind of wooded area, that's site 183. Uh, 185 I think right there uh, but just to give you an idea for reference you know these are these kind of this like in between the nature trail right there uh, which connects to the state park so this is kind of that little triangular area if you look at a map um, it's in between kind of the front and the rear of the RV park they do have these comfort stations throughout the RV resort, uh, which have like showers, laundry, restrooms, showers. They are super nice. I mean, they are super nice facilities. Absolutely no complaints. The staff here, like I said, is awesome. They do a great job of keeping the place clean, well maintained. I mean, they got grass crews out right now that are cutting grass. Uh, this stretch down through here, um, that is site 227 with that wolf pulp there. So that just gives you a point of reference of kind of where I'm at in the campground. That's site uh, 232 right there. So I know when I was trying to book my campsite for my family, I was kind of trying to figure out what would be like the best site uh, for my kids and just to be able to keep an eye on them. Like what if, you know, sometimes when we go to RV resorts, my kids make friends. Uh, well, I guess not my 10 month old, but my five year old makes friends. And so they'll want to play if they got like a playground area. So I, it's nice to be camped somewhere where I can like see them if I wanna like cook dinner so he, I don't have to stop him from playing or something like that. Um, so like, you know, here's your playground and stuff. And so if you loop around, I'll kind of point some of these out just because this is a major area of where you kinda, you're close to that amenity. Um, so we'll come around here. And so like this first site, that is 497 on the end. So 497, 496, their numbers could be a little bit bigger. 495, right here with that fifth wheel. Uh, 494, 493, you know, 492, 491, 
489 and then you come on around wasn't real happy that they had shipping containers back here I mean they're cleaning all this up and get, they're still I mean, this project is pretty new and finished uh, 488 I think I can't 487 yeah that makes sense and then here I am in 486 uh, don't quote me on this um, I think we are in what's called in an elite campsite um, and what makes it an elite campsite it is a back end uh, but I do have, pardon my mess, the storm came through yesterday. Um, you got a picnic table out here. Um, is you got this like little shelter and we've got a grill, an outdoor kitchen, a refrigerator out here. So yeah, I had to pile everything. I mean, the wind came through. I was standing out here and I felt like a cool breeze. I was like, oh, that ain't good. And so I <laughs> got my awning in and I mean, you could hear, and where people were maybe were out to dinner last night, you could hear just like, oh, he's smacking RVs and stuff. And we actually tried to help uh, one of the guys put his, he wasn't here, but me and some guys were trying to figure out how to like keep it from blowing the wind or strapping it or something. Uh, we even had a guy trying keys off his RV just to see if they would work by chance just to help the guy out. Um, of course, we have e-bikes that we bring, my kid's little bike, and then uh, I borrowed my buddy's uh, tow behind. Uh, my five-year-old loves riding that for the longer bike rides. Like I said, there's 20-something miles of trail. I don't expect my kid to ride his own bike that far, but he does like riding that behind me when I'm towing him. Uh, of course, you've got a fire pit, uh, propane fire pit out here. Uh, they pr provide, you can bring your own propane bottles, uh, like the five-pound tanks, uh, I'm sorry, five-gallon tanks, uh, 20 pounds, but uh, they'll they have their own tanks here. You can take them up front and they'll fill them for a fee. I think they charge four, and a, it was like four and a quarter or a gallon of propane. Uh, a little high, but not like terrible. Uh, you can tell I've got the pool right behind me. I still have to walk down and around to the front of the uh, beach house to go into there, uh, but it's still convenient. Uh, like I said, you got a grill and stuff. Uh, one thing they do, and they're, they got some strict rules here, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with some rules. Uh, you can't have. Uh, of course, sites are full hookup. You can see my posts and stuff back there, water and sewer and everything. Um, they are um, no burning of, you basically only burn propane. So if you're going to do cooking, it has to be some form of propane griddle, propane grill. Uh, so I can't use like my Kamado Joe charcoal grill like I like to cook on. Uh, of course, I have a site with a grill, no big deal. Um, so no uh, no fire pits. So but you can't burn anything. The only thing you can use is propane. So every just know that when you come that if you want to cook outside, it has to be something that's propane. Uh, boy, if you come to the beach, those things are awesome to own. Uh, it just makes carting all your, especially when you got kids and stuff, carting everything out to the beach. Your lawn chairs and bags and snacks and all that cooler. Uh, having a beach cart. Um, luckily, I showed my. This is actually my tow car. It's a. Uh, a 21 Subaru Crosstrek. Um, I got it set up for flat tow, and you know I put my kids. I have, we have a bike trailer for our other kids, so I shove it up there with some stuff. We look silly when we travel, but boy, we we got everything we need to have a good time. Um, and I can throw that wagon up there for the beach. And then, of course, you know this is what we roll around in when we're. Yeah, the wife and I used to just travel in our Winnebago, and. Uh, but with the kids, you know, it's just they they don't enjoy traveling every other day. Like my wife would just we'd jump all over the place, go all these different national parks, and so with the kids now we pretty much travel somewhere like a Gulf Shores, uh, and stay put, um, you know, for a week at a time. And so I started towing a car just so I can set up the RV, leave it where it's at, keep AC on, uh, and then just you know stroll around town or go out to dinner and stuff in our car. So this is their uh, clubhouse that's on the. Uh, back half of the RV resort. This is actually a fairly new area, I think within the last couple of years. So when you come back through here, they've got a general store, they've got a, a restaurant uh, bar, they've also serve up uh, coffee, breakfast, uh, they had ice cream, uh, we got uh, <laughs> Flint, a big cone of uh, Superman ice cream. They've got a nice area out here to hang out, tons of tables. Don't know if the pool will be open this early or not. Oh, look at here, we can get in. I want to get over here before there's a bunch of people. I just, you know, try to be polite. 
But this is the pool area. That's four foot deep. Uh, this is definitely the super kid friendly pool. I think they have three pools total. They do have an adult only pool that has a jacuzzi, I believe. Um, we've obviously have children, so this is where we have spent most of our time. Plus my motorhome is literally right over there, backed up to the pool. They got some cool little cabana type deals over there where people have been hanging out and they'll set up shop. People really enjoy the loungers that are in this like uh, really shallow, like nine inches of water and stretch out. And then of course they've got uh, a splash pad area, which isn't on right now, but all kinds of squirty water things. Oh, and then I forgot to mention uh, over here behind those doors, uh, they have an arcade as well. So super fun little area if you're into that. So right here to, on, uh, beside the clubhouse, this is, we've got a cornhole set up with these big shade tarps. They got uh, beach volleyball over there. I haven't got to do a lot of this just because I can't keep my kids out of the pool. Um, they got pickleball courts. Um, they have everything that you need. Like you don't need to bring anything unless you want to. Uh, so that you can get any of the pickleball stuff you need. The cornhole bags are out here. They've got a giant Connect Four. You know, there's your beach volleyball. Over there you can see they've got a playground, a big monkey gym, a uh, large slide. And then of course you've got a full basketball court here as well. Uh, I will, I'll will show you a few more campsites, but that's kind of the overall gist of the campground. Uh, I mean, like I said, there's not a bad site. You just look at the map. Now, if you come around to the front of the clubhouse, like you got this site, let me go right here. So I was in 286. If you go around to the front of the clubhouse, um, you know, there are some sites that you can just walk right across from your site. Um, like this one on the end right here is 282 with this uh, Venom fifth wheel. Um, you know, but I don't know, I'm just not, like you're right on this like road, like where there's more traffic. So I'm not as big of a fan personally, and that is one of the elite campsites. Uh, of course, you've got garbage, places to dump your garbage throughout the park. Um, and then if you just want to be as close as you possibly can to this main, this pool that has all like the kid oriented stuff and the splash pad, uh, the bar and the grill, you know, ice cream and the arcade, you know, you're looking at like basically this site right here, which the number must be on the other side. Here, I'll roll through the, roll through this empty site here. This place was packed over the weekend. I don't know if there was an empty site. Eh, there might've been a couple, but not very many. Like 440 is right here. And then like this Flagstaff that's right here close to this uh, is 441. So I mean, ultimately, if, that, if that's your goal, like to get just as absolutely close as you can to the clubhouse, like that's that's pretty much where you want to be. Got some pull throughs back through here for reference. Like I said, that's 440, 438, and then uh, along the back here, we have got. That's 457, no, 336. 336, 335, they're kind of be back ends here along the wooded area. Do they call it woods in Gulf Shores? From my phone, those are the woods. <laughs> so, uh, 331, but this is kind of that back corner. Um, you know, along the edge of the perimeter of, of the uh, RV resort. You really can't call it a campground. You know, this is like resort style, right? I mean, like I said, my, my this is fun. We enjoy this. this. You know, our kids have enjoyed it. But we're definitely like, and we've been to some really cool resorts I'd recommend all day long, but we're definitely more of the state park, national park type people. That's why we have the smaller rig. You know, I bought my rig before the Renegade Vienna was out because that's more likely the route I would have went is with the Vienna. We love our view. Um, and I mean, we've had memories at the Wazoo in it, uh, but we like that size just because we are the national park, state park, 
uh, you know, I'll travel in that thing. I've parallel parked that sucker downtown, you know, all over the country. I've been on ferries going into downtown uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, I mean, I think we're getting ready to turn over 90,000 miles on that thing. Um, 309. Right here along the woods. 30, that's, this is 305. Here's another one of those... Um, Comfort stations with the laundry and everything. I go. We'll go in here. And just, I usually don't like to show bathrooms, but we'll go in here and look at one because they are really nice. It's like, oh, let's all go look at a bathroom. All right, hold on. We'll go, let's go look at one. Here she is in all her glory. But they're nice. I mean, the floor's super clean. I mean, they keep their facilities super nice. So, you know, each bathroom is in almost stall, so they're all family styles. So if you gotta take your kid to the bathroom or whatever. I just picked a whole another random one that has a shower in it. Like, super nice. I mean, they do a good job of. Oh, somebody left a rag. You believe that? But yeah, that gives you an idea. Uh, so this is like the farthest area from the entrance coming in like in the very back corner like the third area um, of all the campsites that I saw there might be better but these back here kind of had the most wooded vibe as far as like trees um, I mean by far that site number 380 or 283 283 is by far like the nicest site in the sense of like you're sitting in your campsite and you feel like you're at a state park or in the woods or you know, not necessarily at a big RV resort. You know, you got kind of a secluded feeling. Uh, that over there is, man, I wish they had their numbers just a little bit bigger. Oh, right there. 282. Hey, you want to have some fun? I'm going to try to one wheel this trail and see if I can don't break my neck. <laughs> so this is the trail that we use to connect to the state park. Um, Boy, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat it. I won't say the bad word. <laughs> but this is the trail that connects to the state park, um, and so you, you know we ride our bikes back through here. It's actually kind of wet from it rains, so it's not too hard to ride. Um, but yeah, we rode. So we'll ride our bikes back through here. Oh, oh, oh it's going down. It's going down. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. So um, go home. Go back to work with a broke arm. Sorry. So. Um, but yeah, so we'll ride this little trail back through here. It's not real long. Gotta watch out for critters. We saw a juvenile uh, water moccasin uh, the other, uh, just a couple days ago. Uh, he mind his own business, but still, not how I want to spend. I don't want to spend any of my vacation time in the hospital getting treated. Ah, oh, I made it. I, well, hold up, don't jinx myself here. But yeah, so like I came through the. I am now in the state park. Like, almost eight. <laughs> I almost went down back there. Uh, this is the state park. Um, I'm on the 26, 28 miles of trails right now. This is, like, the way the whole park is. Um, so, it's awesome. So, I went ahead and um, rode my one wheel just a little bit farther down the path. Uh, I mean, you can just see how beautiful this area is. Um, in the state park. I, I literally went maybe an eighth of a mile from where I was. Uh, and they've got like, this is just an example of, I'm out on this boardwalk that overlooks. Um, I mean, this is the state park. This place is like legit. We love Gulf Shore State Park. What we're going, we're actually gonna just go over and stay in the campground um, today. We'll be over at the state park the rest of the week. But like, that's pretty much what you have to expect. Way, way there in the background, you can see a blue water tower, like right there. Um, that is right next to the entrance to the state park. So that gives you an idea, like you could ride, I can ride my bike. Like there's trails that go all the way over there. And then those buildings that you see way over there in the background, like right there, uh, those are right along the beach. So, you know, it's you awesome access to everything but so i'm still in the state park 
um, man, I'm like super. See, this is I'm state park people. This is what I do. Like I just love being in parks, national parks. The RV resorts are fun and you know a good time and you know. But I don't know. Just something about nature gets my gets my spirit thriving. The um, and I'll I'll try to do another video of the state park itself um, if I get time with the family. I usually get up really early while they're still sleeping, and they were sleeping in this morning after a long, hard day, so I thought I'd do a quick video of the RV resort. Got to watch the pavement, because this is, down through here is where I saw that juvenile uh, water moccasin. My <laughs> wife was behind me towing our baby, and she came up and was like, do you see that snake back there? And she's like, nope. I was like, there was literally a snake stretched out right across the path. Like, you know, I look I look down. Like, if I'm in a place where I know there's like alligators, like there's alligators in this park. There are snakes in this park. You know, I'm, I'm keeping my eyes open and sure enough, um, of course it was off to the side so she didn't run it over. And of course, the whole family had to go back and look at it. And he was pretty docile. I mean, he, I didn't get too close, but I, you know, I did try to get close enough to get like a little bit of a picture. Uh, just so I could look it up later to see what it was. But we'll head back over to the RV resort and uh, we'll finish up. So up just popped out of the trail over there out of the state park. Uh, if you want super quick access to state park, that is site 281, 279. Like if that's your jam, you want to be able to jump on your bike, get right into the state park, like these sites would be ideal. Backed up to the woods, 279, 277. Got a super slick art Airstream here, 275. You know, site 274. You're also going to get a good amount of shade in the afternoon. Wait a minute. Afternoon or morning. I'm not sure which way the sun's going. Once again, my name is Kyle Coberline. I'm with Bluegrass International in Georgetown, Kentucky. Of course, we have my office is in Georgetown. We have facilities in Somerset, Kentucky, and London, Kentucky. Uh, this is I did a video. This is part of our Bluegrass Adventure Series. Uh, like you know, we're in the trucking and RV business, and so everywhere's an adventure and, and possibility for anybody we do business with. Um, I appreciate you checking another one of our videos. You know, even if we're not selling you something, you know, I do all our Renegade RV sales. Even if we're not selling you something, we're down to help. We're down to educate. We're down to be consultants. That's how we earn our business with our customers. If we don't do business and it doesn't pan out, like we get it, it's no big deal. There is no pressure from anybody at our facility. Uh, we just enjoy working with customers and doing the right thing. Um, so, I mean, always feel free to reach out to us if you're passing through and have an RV emergency. Uh, Whispering Hills RV Park is real close to us. We get a lot of people over there and they have an issue with a water heater uh, or some, you know, we're also an AquaHot certified service center. Uh, we do hydronic heating system work. Uh, AC, we pretty much do it all. We have RV dedicated technicians. You know, we, we get on stuff for people um, and try to help them out the best we can because we understand traveling you know we're in the trucking industry so that's, that's just how we that's how we operate you got a load of raw chicken or frozen chicken on a truck and the truck goes down it's got it we got to put it back on the road it can't so that's just that's just kind of how we know that's what we do i guess it's what our people are used to and and helping people out the best we can and as quick as we can um we have great people as well but once again thanks for checking out another one of my videos my name is kyle coberline uh we're always happy to help um I mean, stop by sometime. I'd be happy to chat. You know, if you got questions about your RV, you can reach out to me. Uh, like, it doesn't have to be buying something. But uh, until next video, and thanks again.